This is question 17, OCR Gateway P6 Physics, or P6 Further Additional Science. Farmer grows some strawberries in large greenhouses. He wants to protect the strawberry plants if it becomes cold at night. Look at the circuit diagram. From This is from a LDR switch, so this means that he knows it's night time. So he wants well, this only to work, so the heater to only come on when it's night time. He wants it only to come on when it's cold, so he's got a thermistor switch. And he's just got himself an on-off control switch, so he can make sure, if he doesn't want to run it at all, he just turns it all off. Now, truth tables can explain how an electronic system works. Complete the truth table for the above system. Um, I think it's really useful when you're looking at logic gates to just try and remember what they mean from the or, not, or and. So I'm going to tell you the three kind of rules. Remember, it's about ones or zeros. So an OR gate is a one if either or both of them are on, are ones. So if you've got either N or P is a one, then Q is a one. A NOT just returns the opposite. It's what is it not, if you like. So if in the input of not is a 1, the output will be a 0, and vice versa. And an AND gate is the most simple one, because both of them must be on for it to be on. So you have to have two 1s to receive a 1 out. There are NANDs and NORs, uh, but not in this question. But I'll just tell you, a NAND is just the opposite of AND, and NOR is just the opposite of OR. So I'm going to leave the table up now and the circuit diagram. You can pause the video and have a little go at working through the truth table. This one's only worth one mark, so you have to get used to doing these truth tables, working with these uh, circuit diagrams, working with these logic gates quite quickly. OK, pause the video and have a little go. OK, so let's deal with Q first. Now, Q depends on N and P. And Q is an OR gate. So if either N and P are 1s, then we know that um, Q is a 1. So initially, N and P are both zeros, zeros. Then um, N is a 0 and P is a 1. So OR means either OR, so 1. 0 and 0, that means... Um, zero because neither of them are ones either of them is a one it's a one so n is a one zero is a one and both of them are ones here so you get a one there so that's dealt with q now what we've got to remember when we do s which is a, the outcome of an and gate using r and the opposite of q because it goes through this not gate would have been more simple if they'd have had another letter here and we could talk about that letter, but that doesn't really matter. So R is a zero, so Q goes through the not gate, becomes a one, but not both of them are ones, so that must be zero. In fact, if R is zero, then any of them are zeros. So here Q is a one, that means there's a zero going in this side. R is a zero, so this must be zero. Both of these are zero here, so a Q is a zero here, so out of the not gate is a one, R is a one, so S is a one. Then from the next one, R is a zero, uh, Q is going to be a zero as well, sorry, Q is a one, but the inverse of Q through the not gate is going to be a zero, so it's not both of them, so it is zero. And then lastly, R is a one, but Q is a 1, so that 0 comes out not gate, so we have a 0 again. Uh, quite complicated, I suppose, but it is just logical. It doesn't matter if it takes you a little bit longer, I suppose, to do that. Work through them and practice working out those problems. They're just like little puzzles, really. I'm sure you can all manage. Thank you.